Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be another hostel review. I know I've done a few of them lately, but I just needed to get them all done, otherwise they wouldn't be done for months. Um, but my next one, and my last one for a little while, won't be until I get back to Australia, I'm pretty sure, so there'll be a little break between those. So this hostel review was my most recent one. It was like two weeks ago or something like that. Um, it was when I went to Munich in Germany and I stayed at the Smart Stay Hostel in Munich City. Um, it was not actually in the city centre. It's actually like um, a two minute walk away from the Oktoberfest, like where Oktoberfest is held. So I went to Munich and I stayed in this hostel from the 26th of July to the 30th of July. And it cost me 115 euros for that whole time, which is 189 Australian dollars. The rating on here is 7.9, which is actually the same as my last review I um, just did for Poland. So it's the same review. It is located 500 feet from the tube and metro, and about 800 feet from the bus stop. Um, so when you walk outside of the hostel, you got like a road. It's not on a main road, but it's close by. You got the road, and if you walk to the left, and you keep walking across the main road, and then you'll see like there's bus stops there. But if you keep walking to the main road and turn right, the um, underground like tube is right there. You'll see it. it just stairs going underground. So yeah, I never used that. I did use the bus stop though, um, and just saying that I got the bus for free because um, you buy the tickets on a ticket machine in the bus and when I walked on everybody else walked on and they didn't get a ticket so I got on I got off nobody said anything I did that twice to and from the airport <laughs> so um, yeah nothing happened I wouldn't recommend to do it lots but um, I don't know if it's just the bus drivers or what but it worked out for me so the facilities in this one is there's public parking um, well, it's possible. It just depends, obviously, if there's parking available. There's lots of parking around. There's Wi-Fi. No pets are allowed. Obviously, it's a hostel. There's a 24-hour front desk. And when I checked in, it was actually about 1.15 in the morning. And the guy said that most people actually check in at about 5.30 in the morning. But the thing is that they actually can't go to their room because, obviously, it's not ready till 2 p.m. So... I still got in just because I booked it. I got in 1am the next morning when I was meant to check in so that's obviously why I was able to. There is express check in and check out which I can say works <laughs> and also um, there's luggage storage, no smoking, there's heating, there's a lift, there's also a bar and a shared kitchen and there's also a toilet as well where the kitchen is. Um, I never used any of that stuff. There's also breakfast available, but it costs extra. Um, I can't quite remember. I think it was around 5.50 euros, like 5 euros and 50 cents. So the check-in is from 2 p.m., like I just said, and the check-out is until 10 a.m. So it's not the best check-out time, but um, that doesn't bother me because I always like to leave early in the mornings. Okay, so now I'm going to read the description off of Booking.com. If you don't know, Booking.com is where I book everything. Um, if I don't use Booking.com, it'll be either Agoda or Hotels Combined. But for over here, um, in Europe, I use Booking.com. So I just went on to Booking.com and it actually just says that the, um, the rating is actually 7.2. It's still rated as good, but... When I was writing this stuff down in my journal, it was a 7.9, so maybe I just wrote it down wrong, I'm not too sure, but this is the description. So it says, the modern smart stay hostel offers accommodation in Munich, just a two minute walk from the, I can't say that word, <laughs> I'll put it on the screen, but it's that word, Oktoberfest site, and two underground stops from the city centre and Marienplatz Square. The Smart Stay Hostel City, Munich, provides free Wi-Fi, bright rooms with a safety deposit box, fresh bed linen and a private bathroom. Self-service laundry facilities are available and meals can, pre can be prepared in the shared, fully equipped kitchen. 
A spacious lounge is also offered where guests can enjoy drinks from the bar. The reception is open 24 hours a day and private parking is available for a small extra charge. So, I didn't actually realise that parking costs money, but parking costs money. Um, so, I was going to say something. The kitchen. I did actually go past the kitchen. is on the second floor. And if you're walking up the stairs, then you'll see the kitchen. It's really, really, really small. But where breakfast is, is downstairs in a different kitchen. So, going on to my thoughts on the room. It was a big room. I stayed in a six bed uh, room. So there was three bunk beds, six beds. It was really quite hot. The windows opened a different way instead of opening out or like in. It opened like coming down this way but it only opened like this much so you didn't really get a breeze or anything and there was only one window. But it is still bright and there's only one light um, in the room but then there's one in the bathroom as well. The bathroom is actually also really big. Well, not really big, but it's a nice, spacious bathroom. The shower is huge. You could fit, like, two people nicely to have a shower in there. The pillow was really soft, that's how you say it. So, pretty much when you lay in it, it just sinks and you're not laying on anything. So, the pillow was really uncomfortable. They speak so many different languages. So, they speak German, English, Spanish, French, and Italian. So, when I walked in there, they spoke English to me straight away before I even spoke to them. Friendly staff, like, super friendly. Um, easy check-in, check-out, like I said, um, I checked in super fast. You have to give a $2 or €2 Euro cash deposit. Um, so just bear in mind that if you're going there, you have to have €2 Euros in cash on you. Luckily, I did. So the room is nice, the bathroom is nice. There's not many PowerPoints. I think there's only five or six. Well, there's only three, but like they're double ones. One was on the bed that I was on, but it was on the bottom bunk and I was on the top bunk. And there's two more across the other side of the room. And it's really quite annoying. Like, they're, it was really hard for me to charge my phone on the bed. So that obviously I needed an alarm to wake up early in the mornings. It's really quite annoying. Um, and you can choose your beds, but you obviously can't sleep in a bed that someone's already in. So they give you a little card to put in the slot when you choose your bed. That way nobody still is your bed and I'm gonna say this the one thing is that it's really confusing to get to and from the airport it's really expensive for a taxi but um, what I would recommend is when you get not out of the airport but once you get into where you can like meet people if someone's waiting for you you walk you go under like down a little like escalator or something you go down that underground and then you get to, you'll see a lot of people, there's like a ticket thing, um, and there's a lot of people there and you just buy, you press where you're going and you pay for a ticket, it's like 11 60, 11 euros and 60 cents for a ticket into the city, um, but the problem was, I think I went on a, I can't remember what day it was, but the day I went was when they were the train that I got didn't go straight into the city, you had to get off and change. Um, so that was the reason why it was really confusing for me. So I ended up getting it and it was telling me to go on a different pa platform, platform, but everyone else was getting on a, the opposite one um, and they both said they were going to the city. So I got on it and Google Maps was telling me to get off and change at a stop. And I went to get off, but I was like, it told me to change to platform one, but we're already on platform one. So I got back on that one, <laughs> lucky I didn't miss it, and I was trying to talk to some people sitting next to me. Um, one of them spoke English, which was great. Um, and she um, found out that, I found out that everyone had to stop and change at a different station. And so I was going to change on that one, but I was like, um... I was going to get something else, get a different transport thing. Um, so I got really confused and I went like, because when we got there we were like normal, we weren't underground anymore. So I went underground and I was trying to find the bus. But where the, where the signs were telling me to go, like there was nothing. I ended up getting outside and I found a bus and I hopped on that bus and that was the one that I got on for free. 
it was really sketchy area actually. There's a lot of people drinking everywhere at the bus stop and stuff and being all drunk and really quite scary. Um, but I ended up getting to the spot that I needed to. I didn't actually realise, like thinking now, um, I actually did feel pretty safe. Um, although when I was waiting for the bus it was a little scary because I was on that bus, there wasn't many people on there. And I was walking around at night and it was 1am in the morning and nobody seemed sus once I got to that area. The area where the bus was was a bit sus. Um, but the thing is, I got a bus because I got a bus straight to my hostel, whereas if I swapped the train, I would have gone into the city centre at Marienplatz, and then I would have had to get another um, like tram thing, underground thing, to there, and that would have cost a whole lot more money, because obviously the bus was free, but the bus is really cheap anyway. So yeah, that was the um, review. Overall, it's a great hostel in a great area, and I would definitely recommend um, to stay there. It's really close to the city centre. Well, it's a 20 minute walk, but it's a nice walk. You pretty much just go straight. Um, there's restaurants, really good. There's some restaurants like on the same street. There's a McDonald's. Um, I don't know, it'd be nice to walk actually, like up and down the street and stuff if you just want to go for a walk. Um, so yeah, it's really. It's really nice, like I liked it. I'm going to leave this video here, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe down below and click the bell notification next to it to be notified whenever I upload a new video and I'll see you guys in my next video, goodbye.